What is up, Saxon fam? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the Saxon family, well, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Today, guys, is a very special video. I have an interview with Boogie2988. So do me a favor, guys, drop a like on it down below. Also, at the end, check out Boogie's channel. Link to that be down below in the video description. But without a further ado, here is the interview. <music> Well, I am uh, getting to sit down with Boogie2988. You want to do your intro? I just had a Blackberry. What? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet over here on Swift's channel. What's up, Swift? Hey, Boogie. How you doing? So, guys, um, as many of you guys yeah. know, if you saw my last video, Boogie is my inspiration for the weight loss. He's uh, one of the few people that have helped push me to uh, doing what I'm doing so far, which, once again, thank you, Boogie, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. But yeah, as I tell everybody... When I started on YouTube, all I ever wanted to do was serve as a bad example. Like, this is what being so fat got me, like, being so crazy, the stupid mistakes I made. Look at my crappy legs, look at my crappy back, look at my crappy knees, look at my crappy life. Get your crap together so you don't suffer like I do. That was always my goal. You did all the work, man. Yeah. All I did was just, like, give you... Gave me a pep talk like, back to Vicon. Point in the right direction, <laughs> honestly. Really, you're the one doing all the work, man. And it's hard work, too. I see how much... You guys, I don't know if you see it on his vlogs, because I know, but I, the, the way that this boy exercises is like there's a demon behind him. <laughs> yeah, a little it, bit. It really is. It's, it's crazy to watch this dude kill. kill. And uh, honestly, it's crazy to actually be able to do a uh, sit down with you. Well, I mean, awesome, uh, guys, back at VidCon, actually, it was the first time I got to meet him. Thank, thanks to uh, Jesse and all that. And uh, I remember one night, Boogie, we were, I think we were at the Studio 71 party. Yep. We were sitting next to each other, and you are like, you got to make a change for yourself, because it was you... Then uh, Billy the Fridge, or is you, me, and then Billy the Fridge all sitting next to each other. Yep. And you're like, listen, you don't want to be in this like weight category. You want to be able to lose the weight and drop right, it. Exactly. And, and that's what I'll say to the people who watch you because uh, they want to lose weight. I'll say it to my channel all the time as well. That's the biggest thing. Losing the weight while you're young now, losing it before you get too big. You know, you, you never hit 300 pounds. It's such a good thing. You never want to hit 300 pounds. You don't want to hit 250. My, my highest it, was, you know? was 270. And right. uh, the last weigh-in I did, I was 260.4 on Jesse's channel. Mm -hmm. So next weigh-in, I'm like, I'm really looking forward to see how much right. I've honestly lost at this point. All right, and I'm, I, I think you're to kill. We were almost 100 pounds, almost exactly apart yeah. when we weighed in. It's really fascinating. Yeah, and guys, like that's the, what I look like at 100 pounds from. Yeah, exactly. Like, look how much smaller Boogie will be, which is crazy to think about that right now. Right. But this is one thing I've been pushing even on my videos is no matter how hard anything can be. You can do it if you yep. just put your mind to it. And I will say, look, where I started, let's be fair, for those of you who don't know my history, I, I resorted to gastric bypass surgery. There's a lot of different reasons that I did it. Um, some people call it the easy way out, and I understand that because it gave me forced discipline. Um, but there's a lot of discipline that went into it. You've got to do three weeks of shakes going in. You've got to do a year of, of classes and passing tests. You've got to do all the work going into it. And there's plenty of work coming out. I was... I was crapping blood. I was throwing up blood. I was Ooh. bleeding from my side. I, uh, eating food was a chore. Just getting a protein shake down my throat every day, and I had to hit certain calorie goals. For the first time in my life, I wasn't overeating. I was undereating. I was really? trying to prevent that, and that, that was the first three months. It was miserable that way. Um, it's, but it, it's a different challenge, right? It's a different type of discipline. Um, and now all the uh, now it's all me. You've seen. Yeah. I can I can pack it away. But, you know, we went out ice cream one night. That's certainly not something I would recommend you ever do, and I have to choose not to do that every day now again. Yeah, but, that, that was like a right. cheat meal, which personally, I I personally feel bad for myself on the end. But me uh, too, absolutely. You, but you did, you did. Point being, force feed me. So. Point being here <laughs> is that if I can do it at 600 pounds at 43 years old, if I can do it from a wheelchair back to where we walked two miles on Dixon Street the first night you yeah. guys were here. If I can get back from where I was, you probably can get back from wherever you are right now. Um, and yes, maybe some of you will have to resort to surgery. Uh, some of you can pound it out the way that Swift is doing it right now. And, and my right? ultimate goal is to get down to 170. Right. I know exactly. I might plateau probably at 200 or something. Right. But even if I get to 200, I'm going to be happy on be able... Um, to just, I, I'm starting to realize I can love right. myself again right now, even on this weight loss journey. Right. And that was one thing I realized I need to do to be able to do this. And it's not a matter of numbers either. And that's one of the biggest things that my audience has a lot of trouble with. You know, when I weighed in with Jesse, I was like about 370. 
I was disappointed in that, but did it make me super frustrated, super irritated because I, I'd been as low as 360, and you know, obviously I've been as high as 600. No, I knew I could get the weight back off with the right amount of work and the right amount of discipline. That's fine. It sucked that I put that weight back that on and I broke my arm. But um, here's here's the things that I have experienced just since you guys have been here. The ability to, to get up and move around the house, to be able to pack my own bag was a thing I wasn't able to do. I normally have a PA for that kind of thing. To be able to, to walk the dog further, to, to be able to walk up and down Dixon Street, to be able to do all of these things that, in my mind, I can't do. These are things I can't do. Okay. And now I get to look forward to some other great things that I know I'll be able to do again. I, I'm looking forward to riding the, the rides at Disneyland, going to Silver Dollar City with my friend. Dude, do, just doing all kinds of like stuff. That, it's those non-scale victories. It's those non-scale victories. When you walk your third mile and you're like, man, I can still do more. I can do another Yeah, and, half, right? I, and sometimes or, I feel like I can and I'll push right, myself right? to just go a little bit farther than normally I could. Right. Or when you eat that healthy meal and you feel full and that's the first time you've ever done that. Or or you, you, you walk right past the McDonald's and you don't crave it for the first time. These are non-scale victories and they're so much more important than scale victories because that's that's just a number. You know, it's an yeah, important number, don't get me wrong, but it's just a number. The quality of your life, that's what matters. And that's why I lost the weight. I knew I was never going to look pretty. Come on, I have less teeth in my face than I have fingers <laughs> on my hands, you know. I knew I was never going to be a good-looking guy, but I just wanted to live a healthier have a healthy life. and happy life. And it was never about quantity for me either. You know, I, I, I'm i an old man at 44 with an orange large You're not heart. old. 44 is not 44 old. 44 is pretty old. You're <laughs> half my age. You literally could be my son. But, Dad? Right. <laughs> but... It's to say that I, I don't care about living longer. Here's what I care about, enjoying my time here. And this is what I was telling Swift the other day. This is what I want to tell you guys. We were we were working on a prank, a video, and Swift is in a lot of pain because some of the stuff I was making him do, um, some of it was intentional pain, but some of it was unintentional because <clears throat> he was having trouble being in certain positions, doing certain things. And all I could say is, Swift, think about how easy it is for Jesse to do this exact thing you're trying to do. Think That's about true. how easy it is for someone who's in shape to do the exact thing that you're doing. We talk about girls all the time. It's a little easier, harder to get a girl when you're heavier. It's yeah, harder that to, is true. to do the things that you want to do, even at your size, right? Why choose to play your life on hard mode? When you can when do you, it on right? easy mode? So that you can eat a few extra candies, so you can eat a, a pie, so you can go to McDonald's once a week. Why? What's the advantage in that stuff, right? And so that's, you know, I mean, Jesse came in and does, he brings up some good points when it comes to like food is only fuel. Yeah. It really is. That's, I was and talking to Michael, kid behind the camera, and that's what, something I was reminding him of right now. It's like, for a long time, Michael, food was a celebration for you. Now it's a curse, right? And, and one thing I've learned, especially like from you guys, is mm -hmm. you guys see how much I like to eat grapes. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize until you guys said, it's like, yo, you got to limit that. I'm like, think to myself, it's like, but this is healthy. This is healthy fuel but then i realized and you guys told me this if you have too much of one thing of it anything. can be unhealthy right. for you and uh, apparently grapes have a lot of sugar even though it's natural natural sugar and it's not man-made right that sugar if you have too much right. will still turn the fat and be right. bad for you where michael's at right now his diet includes zero fruit because he can't have it because he's diabetic you know i mean every food everything in moderation everything in moderation um, even like doing the keto lifestyle, you know, a lot of people tell you don't worry about counting calories. Well, I disagree. I do my best weight loss while I'm counting calories on, on keto. When I target 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day, um, even when I'm following that restrictive diet, it's still the best way to do it. You know, when I plateaued on keto, it's because I wasn't tracking calories. Okay. You know. I think it's really important to track calories. I know that's not something you're currently doing. I hope that you know. I know, I know you told me about a certain app, which I'm gonna there's the uh, very, very, yeah. talking about in the future there's, too. Barry Tastic and My Fitness Pal, and there's so many good ones. I think Michael's using My Fitness Pal. I use Barry Tastic. Um, that's the one I recommend because it's got a very accurate catalog. Um, and you, you said it it actually puts the calories in there on like My Fitness Pal, where right. people can cheat it and. Put how many calories they want yeah, so to kind of like, feel good. It uses like an official database from like the companies that make the food. Whereas like my fitness pal, if they can't, someone can't find that, they might put it in there wrong or make a mistake or even cheat the system. You never know, right? Okay. Um, but as long as you're reading the back of your labels and you're verifying the data, it doesn't really matter what app you use, right? The biggest issue is a lot of times when you go out to eat, which is one of the worst things you can do when you're trying to lose weight because the portion sizes are too huge. Even when you get the healthy salad at Chili's, it's a thousand calorie salad sometimes. And one so, thing you know, like I've learned from you is if you're going to order something when you're out at a restaurant you know, is to ask them from the beginning to put half of it in a box. Right, like box half of it up right away. That's, that's your next meal, right? I'm going to split this meal into two. 
Um, of course, now I've got to the point where I, I can't finish a full restaurant meal, and I'm so grateful. You've seen me every time we've eaten out, I've had to take something home. Yeah. Um, and get a second, sometimes third meal out of it, depending on what we're eating. It's a good, it's a good problem. Which is not bad because it, then at the end you're saving money. Because yep. if you think about, it, let's say you buy like a thirty dollars steak, yep. you can't finish that steak. Then you know what? It was fifteen dollars that day for a meal, and then basically the next day, right? Just it's a fifteen dollars meal again for you. And just like Michael, and Michael said this to me, so I'm pretty sure this is accurate. But forgive me if I'm wrong. But he was just like me. When you go out to eat. You get the full course meal, right? But then also you get an app for the table and maybe two apps for the table and everybody shares the apps. So you have some of the apps, then you have a bit of the bread, then you have maybe the chips that come out too. The chips, oh, oh my gosh. And then you eat your full meal. And then sometimes you even get dessert. I mean, good Lord, you're putting away two, 3,000 calories a day. Which, unless you're able to burn it off, as in if you yeah. went to the gym earlier in the day and you know you burnt a lot of calories and you could probably take that to maintain, yeah. but if you're in our kind of situation where we're working on cutting yeah. now, um, that many calories is yeah. way too many to have. One of the funniest things, I was just thinking about this, when I was talking about Michael, um, I saw a comment on one of Michael's videos the other day, and I see it on my comments all the time. People say, why would I ever take weight loss advice from you? You weighed 600 pounds. You're still 360 or 370. What is your deal? You lost um, 230 pounds already. Right, but even regardless, <laughs> I know what not to do. You want to ask a guy how bad it is to wreck your car? Ask a guy who just slammed into a tree. He'll tell you how miserable it is. You want to find? You want to ask a guy who's made a bunch of mistakes what mistakes he made? I can tell you what mistakes I made, dude. I made so many mistakes. I can tell you what not to do easier than I can tell you what to do. And you guys can honestly all find that on Boogie's channel, oh. which is linked down below in the description. Yep. And uh, Boogie, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you once again. Thank you, man. Um, I, I, for inspiring me on the weight loss, being able to just sit down with me today and have this conversation man. for uh, my audience, which is a shared audience between us. And We are really proud of you, Swift. I'm so thank glad. you. I'm so glad to see you making healthy decisions in your life. Thank I'm you, so Boogie. I'm so glad to see how hard you're working. And when you hit 200, man, I'm taking you out <laughs> for shakes again. No, just shakes. Kidding, <laughs> well, that's like another 60 something yeah. pounds. Yeah. Good job, Thank buddy. you, guys. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you, Boogie. I appreciate it. Love you guys. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it down below, hit that subscribe button, check out Boogie's channel, please. I know even if some of you guys have yet, if you don't know who Boogie is, you're it's probably living just under Francis a rock. It's not videos, but those are really funny too, you'll <laughs> yeah. like it. Uh, guys, he is a down to earth guy and uh, I appreciate everything he's taught me so far throughout the week about weight loss, especially eating uh, meat and veggies. Well, you don't like your veggies, but I do. But uh, now, now I'm just doing my own little rambling here. <laughs> I also told him not to trust a man with duct tape. That is true. <laughs> so guys, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, check out Boogie, and until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. Remember to stay positive. I'm going to log out. Peace out and well. Puh, 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 puh. Thanks guys for watching. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon. Peace.